Hello there, we're going to take you through a series of videos that will give you a general overview of BISTAL 360 features. In this video, we will learn the fundamentals of governance and auditing. In BizTalk, out of the box, you don't have any kind of governance and auditing for operational actions. So if a user takes an action like starting a port or stopping a port, terminating a message or restarting a host instance, you have no idea who did it and when. So to overcome this limitation, we built the governance and auditing capability in BizTalk 360. Out of the box, any action that you take through BizTalk 360 will be audited so that you can come back and understand who did what and when. So this is the screen where you can see the governance and auditing information. And right now it's empty. And what I will do is I'll go into different users and take actions uh, so that you can see this uh, auditing trail to be generated. So I'm gonna select a user that I already logged on here with, which is Claire. And Claire can take application actions and service instance actions, so that's what I will do. So I will um, operate on this application. Uh, I will do a few actions so you can see here how it is. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop a few of these orchestrations. So the orchestrations are now stopped. So what I will do is go back to the auditing and if I go into application activities, I can see these four activities that have just been performed by Claire. I can also take another user and operate an application so that we can see that activity also there. So let me choose an application and for instance, let's operate on a receive location by disabling it. So in a similar way, we will see if we go back here, the action now performed by John instead of Claire, he disabled this particular receive location. So this also works for any activity against service instances. So I will do a similar operation. So I can go to my message box queries. I can execute a query to find uh, some instances and I'm gonna select a few of those instances and I'm gonna operate on them by, in this case, by terminating them. I could do also a resume just to show the different operations that can be tracked there. So if I now go back to auditing and now I go to service instance activities, I can refresh to see that Claire was actually terminated and resumed a few of the messages. And then the last section would be the host instance activities and this is where you start, stop, enable or disable host instances. So I can also go here to a user that can operate on service instances select a service instance and operate on it. So in this case, I'm gonna start a host instance and I'm gonna choose a different user and I'm also gonna stop it. So now we have a start and stop trail for the host instances as well. As you can see, we have the two operations that have been executed. So the host has been started and then has been stopped by two different users. And this is all from governance and auditing.